I would like to thank organizers, to thank organizers for inviting me here. Very pleasant, nice place. Also, I would like to remind that there was an announcement about a conference dedicated to and also, uh, the poster is outside. With details, uh, I would like to emphasize that uh, two organizers, namely Andrea Agarachev and uh, Alexander Bufetto, worked uh, in the department that was led by Anoso. And uh, I am affiliated with this department, uh, so it was a big pleasure for us <coughs> to work uh, and uh, to communicate with this great mathematician whose name is very often uh, pronounced during this meeting, and also yeah, <coughs> Jakob Pesin was one of students of Anoso. So everybody is welcome to attend this uh, meeting. Um, today I will speak about uh, group actions of uh, special sort, uh, uh, so-called totally non-free actions. I have a problem with the voice, but hope you are able to hear me, and particularly because of this equipment. Um, and uh, invariant random uh, subgroups. Uh, so I will begin with uh, uh, listing some classes uh, uh, of groups. Uh, before, mostly as I understand, uh, uh, some uh, Lie groups uh, like uh, GL and R uh, were figurated or, and lattices in these groups or subgroups in Lie groups. Uh, uh, but there is a wealth of discrete groups. Uh, there is abstract group theory, there is uh, combinatorial group theory, there is geometric group theory, and uh, recently uh, measured group theory started to develop. And uh, what is measured group theory? It's uh, in, uh, at the end of 60s, uh, at 70s, when Yasha uh, uh, Pesin, uh, when me were students in Moscow State University of Lomonosov, uh, attending seminars of Anoso, of Sinai, and other great mathematicians. So sometimes uh, talks uh, were considered triples of the form uh, group acting on probability measure space X mu. And at that time, it was called a dynamical system with non commutative time. And group G, again, can be topological group, can be a uh, Lie group, uh, but also abstract, can be a abelian group, non-abelian group, but abstract group time to time were appearing at that time. Now, uh, this, uh, uh, the study of such triples uh, is a very popular subject, uh, and uh, uh, in, the, in contrast with 70s, 80s, where mostly attention was paid to the measure space, uh, group uh, uh, didn't play so much role. Now, uh, more attention is paid uh, played to group. What can be said about group if you know some uh, properties of the action? Uh, now, I will uh, list you uh, several, just uh, sporadically uh, uh, taken from my mind, classes of groups, just to, to, ref to refresh in your memory the variety, the zoo of the world of uh, discrete uh, groups. In my talk, I will consider only commutative groups, I billion, sorry, only countable groups. Uh, so, uh, among the simplest is class of abelian groups, which is subclass of the class of nilpotent groups, uh, subclass of the class of solvable groups. Uh, these are classical classes that uh, people study in undergraduate courses of algebra. Uh, then uh, there is uh, splitting of groups on amenable and on non-amenable, very important notion due to uh, von Neyman discrete case and Bogolubov uh, in topological case and uh, Bogolubov definition for general topological group was a, a group with invariant mean and the main result was that a such a group acting on compact space has invariant probability measure. Generalization of krylov bogolubov theorem, one of the most, uh, mostly important and often used theorem in dynamical uh, system. Uh, there is a subclass of um, amenable groups called elementary amenable, which is subclass of groups without free uh, subgroup on two generators. Uh, uh, this is just, uh, uh, it, it is not very, uh, almost not important at the moment, like uh, really, like to, to understand, to, don't ask me for definition. Um, 
what a elementary amenable group, also in the end I can uh, define. Now, okay, uh, some other list, uh, three groups which will play uh, some role. In my talk, uh, the generalization of them, Gromo hyperbolic group, there is so-called automatic group, uh, even more general class. This is a subset of this set of Sophie groups, very popular subject of recent investigation and many interesting results are obtained for the Sophie groups. The problem is that nobody is able to produce example of non-Sophie group. Now, okay, such classical groups as group of outer automorphism of free group, which is closely related to mapping class groups. There are so-called Tarski monsters. Uh, Higman Thompson finally presented infinite groups uh, and so on. Uh, more uh, recent uh, are groups associated with minimal homeomorphism of a counter set. If you uh, have uh, such uh, minimal homeomorphism counter set T acting on X, a counter set, then you can associate certain countable group which is called topological full group. This is a standard notation which uh, Perhaps at the very end, if uh, time permit, will be mentioned again. Uh, then the class of, of residually finite groups, these are group, infinite groups that can be approximated by, in certain sense, by finite groups, a group acting on trees, buildings. Um, now, this slide uh, shows uh, something completely different and basically uh, introduced and studied by a speaker and uh, his students and uh, collaborators, uh, classes of so-called self-similar groups, uh, fractal groups, iterated monodromic groups, branch groups, which uh, will appear later and play some role. Now, groups of intermediate growth in the intermediate growth in the sense of Milner uh, uh, Schwartz, uh, uh, you count number of elements, so group has to be finitely generated. You count number of elements of lengths uh, not greater than n. n is a natural number going to infinity. And uh, uh, growth function, the number of such elements, grow faster than any polynomial, but slower than exponential. So there was a question of Milner if such group exists. And uh, I constructed such a group. And now uh, these uh, groups of intermediate growth are closely related to all these listed examples and appear in various situations as well. Now, what is totally non-free action? Uh, again, I consider in my talk only countable groups. Um, and um, given a topological dynamical system, so group acting on, a, to a, say, compact, uh, not necessarily compact, a topological space by homeomorphism, so this is called topological dynamical system, or a metric dynamical system when you have a group acting on measure space. Uh, in my talk, a measure will be probability and invariant. One can consider uh, as a uh, situation when measure is quasi invariant, but let it be probability invariant measure. Okay, so basically I will deal with this situation, but also uh, sometimes with this. Mm. There is a well-known uh, uh, notion of uh, freeness of action, uh, action of uh, such dynamical system on commutative, with non-commutative time or measured group Gx mu is uh, free if there is a subset uh, of full measure uh, with the properties the stabilizer of each point is trivial. So this is notation for stabilizer. Stabilizer of point in group G is a, set, a subgroup of elements which fix uh, this uh, point. It's a subgroup. Uh, it's clearly so uh, free, uh, freeness of action means uh, triviality of stabilizer uh, almost sure. Um, and this can be reformulated. Here, uh, uh, assumption that the group is countable is important, that for every non-identity element, uh, the measure of the set of fixed points of uh, element G uh, is zero. So fixed G is a set of fixed uh, points for element G. So there are two, two approaches for the definition of free, freeness. In fact, it's essentially free, so, uh, because uh, we assume that the first condition holds uh, uh, mu almost sure. Yeah, so here I re remind what, what uh, means this notation. Okay, and a few years ago, Anatoly Vershek, um, he came with uh, very interesting definitions. 
uh, he called triples uh, action uh, uh, extremely non-free if, again, there is a subset of full measure uh, such that uh, uh, for any uh, pair of different points from this subset, stabilizers are different. So if your space X, okay, is uncountable space, uh, space like uh, Lebesgue space, uh, isomorphic to interval 0, 1, or whatever, so there are uncountable many points in the, uh, X, so in particular this means that uh, the uh, set of subgroups of a group must be uncountable. There must be many, many subgroups in, in your group. Uh, okay, uh, but here, uh, okay, we re require that the different points almost surely have different stabilizers. So this is complete uh, opposite uh, to the freeness. In the uh, free case, we assume that stabilizer is trivial group. And here, not only non-trivial, but different points have different stabilizers. Uh, and uh, he called uh, triple uh, totally non-free if uh, the set uh, of uh, family of sets, uh, fixed points of uh, elements, generates sigma algebra uh, of the measure space. So uh, use, uh, there is a sigma algebra of measurable uh, subsets of the pair x mu, so if uh, it is generated by the, the set. So it means that this family of sets, which are sets of fixed points of elements, is a rich family, it's base of the sigma algebra of measurable subsets. Um, with uh, young Ukrainian mathematician Artem.co, we recently came to, uh, to stronger condition we call uh, situation action absolutely non-free if every uh, measurable uh, for every measurable subset and every positive epsilon there is element in a group such that the measure of a different uh, symmetric difference between E and the set of fixed points of G is less than epsilon. It's clear that this C is uh, stronger than previous that B. And uh, Vershek, when he gave his definition, he observes that A, in fact, is equivalent to B. So total non-freeness is equivalent to extreme non-freeness. And natural question arises, uh, what group uh, have a faithful totally non-free action? So I would like to emphasize that before, people were mostly interested in free actions. If you cl look at classical books and so on, usually uh, assumption of freeness play a role. And okay, Vershek uh, came to, to, from a completely different perspective. Now we are interested in totally non free actions. Uh, okay, and how this uh, affects dynamics and how this affects group theory? Let us see. Uh, so, the main point uh, uh, of my talk is uh, that such actions lead to uh, the so-called invariant random subgroups, which will be defined soon, and uh, to the so-called factor representations, which will be just mentioned and uh, didn't discuss it because of absence of time. And both things are pretty important. So uh, now I'm going to explain what is invariant random subgroup. A random subgroup, uh, you, uh, okay, so given a group, again, countable group in my talk, but this uh, works for locally compact groups uh, uh, and so on. Uh, by sub G, I uh, denote a set of subgroups, but I call it space because I consider it's with topology. The, uh, this topology is uh, uh, topology induced uh, from the product topology of a uh, set of two elements, 0, 1, to the power G. So space of configurations uh, on a group G. Just uh, given subgroup H in G, we identify it with its characteristic function, which takes value 0 or one, depending uh, G belongs to H or not. Uh, and uh, this characteristic function is the element of this space. Uh, so here we have product topology, which in case group is infinite, makes this uh, homeomorphic to a counter set. And here we have a closed subset. Closed subset uh, in this space. So, so we induce topology. So now we have a topology on the space of subgroups. And this is pretty interesting uh, object. 
to uh, so study of uh, the topological uh, and the combinatorial properties of this uh, space of subgroups with this topology. In the case of locally compact groups, uh, there is uh, also definition, more complicated, uh, and called Shabbatid topology, so study of properties of this group. In our situation, this uh, space is a totally disconnected, uh, compact, metrizable space. And convergence in this space means uh, the following. The sequence of subgroups Hn converge to H. If and only if, uh, uh, if element G belongs to H, then it must belong to uh, all members of this sequence starting from some moment. If it doesn't belong to H, it should, doesn't belong to all members of sequence starting from some moment. Um, now, uh, there is a, uh, in descriptive set theory, uh, notion of counter bendixon rank. So given a space, there can be a set of uh, isolated points. You can delete isolated points. This is uh, called taking counter bendixon derivative. New uh, isolated points may appear, and you continue this process. So in our situation, when space is totally uh, disconnected, metrizable uh, compact space, uh, this process of taking derivative will stabilize on certain uh, countable ordinal, and uh, the first moment when stabilization hole is called counter bendixon rank. So, uh, and then uh, when we uh, finish this, uh, end with this procedure of deleting uh, isolated points, eventually we come to, to a perfect kernel that is uh, set without isolated points. And in our situation, this set can be either empty or a counter set. And uh, it will be empty if and only if the cardinality of the set of subgroups is countable. And otherwise, it will be a counter set. So again, for interesting group, uh, even uh, if a group has uh, only countably many subgroups, and for instance, uh, nilpotent countable groups have only countably many subgroups, and uh, many solvable groups, uh, and Tarski monsters, uh, and so on, uh, still uh, it is an interesting uh, method just to understand the topology of this discrete uh, topological space, uh, but uh, if uh, there are uncountably many subgroups, it, it's even uh, more interesting. You should like, realize what group subgroups should be deleted just to reach this perfect kernel, which is a homeomorphic to a counter set. And this perfect kernel will be invariant. Yeah, I forgot to say, and this will appear Im immediately, that we have action of a group on this space uh, by conjugation. Group acts on the set of subgroups by conjugation. Uh, and this is action by homeomorphism in our situation. And uh, this perfect uh, kernel uh, is invariant subset for this action. So uh, restriction of action on this uh, perfect kernel uh, gives you action of your group uh, uh, on the counter set. Pretty interesting uh, situation, which can be used in many situations. Uh, yeah, so uh, one of the first uh, questions, I will uh, formulate a uh, few uh, problems. Uh, for interesting group, determine counter Bendixon rank. Uh, by the way, uh, in the space of subgroups, there is a subset of normal subgroups, which is closed uh, subset, which uh, also is interesting for study. It's uh, counter Bendixon rank, uh, for instance, for free group. Uh, it is not known, even for free group, group with two generators, it is not known what is counter Bendixon rank of the space of normal subgroup. Of the, the space of subgroup is one, it's easy. Okay, so now uh, what I already said, uh, that G, uh, group G acts on the space of subgroup by conjugation. Given a subgroup H in G and given element G, uh, it maps H uh, to uh, H conjugated by G, which is this expression. And this action is by homeomorphisms. Uh, so what is a random subgroup? Uh, we have a compact uh, space of subgroups. Uh, 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 then a random subgroup is a random subgroup. Uh, it has a law or distribution, which is probability measure. So we can identify uh, random subgroups uh, with the probability measures uh, on the space of subgroups. 
Uh, what is the invariant random subgroup is a uh, random subgroup uh, whose distribution, whose law, whose uh, probability uh, measure is invariant with respect uh, to uh, action by conjugation. So uh, we are looking, we are looking for those invariant uh, for those probability measures on the space of subgroups which are invariant with respect. Uh, to this uh, action, action, uh, it's called a joint also, uh, action, action by conjugation. And again, it's not difficult to understand that uh, you can, uh, in certain sense, uh, for, uh, it's important uh, to restrict attention only on a perfect kernel, on a counter set, because it is invariant and on counter sets, the, 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 uh, the space, uh, there are many probabilities measured, while uh, surrounding uh, things is a countable set of isolated points, and so invariant measures are just uh, delta mass supported on, uh, on finite orbits. But uh, on the space of subgroup X, uh, not only a group G itself by conjugation, uh, and this can be uh, viewed as action of the group of inner automorphism. So what I was speaking before is action of the group of inner automorphism on the space uh, of subgroups. But uh, now uh, we can consider action of a larger group, a group of all automorphisms. Uh, just uh, given the uh, automorphism phi uh, and the subgroup H, uh, uh, you take image, and this is action, and again this is action by homeomorphism. Uh, and uh, because, uh, and now you, uh, you may look for random subgroup, which is invariant with respect to action of this larger group. The larger group is uh, the less uh, the number, uh, the set of uh, invariant measures is less, less. So, uh, in uh, me probability measure on the space of subgroups which are invariant with respect to action of group of all automorphisms are called characteristic random subgroup. And the characteristic comes from terminology in group theory. Subgroup of a group is called characteristic if it is invariant with respect to all automorphism. Here, instead uh, subgroup to be invariant, uh, we consider probability measure, which is invariant with respect to the action of automorphism group. Um, And by the way, uh, in previous definition, in my opinion, it was uh, better uh, to call, uh, to call uh, not invariant random subgroup, but normal random subgroup. But people started to call invariant random subgroup, so I don't want to change terminology. Okay, so now we, are, we have like two situations. Uh, this action of a group, or a group of the same group of inner automorphism, basically. Uh, and we are looking for invariant measure and uh, triples of this sort. Uh, also, one can consider certain subgroup which is intermediate. So, uh, group of in automorphism is a subgroup uh, of the group of all automorphisms. And quotient, of, uh, it is normal subgroup, and quotient is uh, called group of outer automorphism. And one can take an uh, arbitrary intermediate group between these two and consider for, invariant, uh, for random subgroup which are invariant with respect to action of this uh, intermediate group. So, uh, but we will not go into details of this. Uh, examples, um, examples. Um, if you have a, a normal subgroup in G and uh, put just delta mass, so H is a point in the space of subgroup, you put delta mass, it's invariant random subgroup just because of normality. It's fixed point for action by conjugation. Or if a group has a finite conjugacy class and the conjugation of H are H1, H2, Hn, you put delta masses in Hi and take some of them and average. These are examples of invariant random subgroup, but these are kind of not interesting examples. And we are interested in continuous, continuous Invariant random subgroups, continuous means this measure with, uh, should be uh, continuous, no, uh, no uh, points of positive uh, measure. And additionally, we are interested in ergodic, ergodic uh, measures. Everybody is, uh, I hope, is familiar in this auditory what means ergodic. Uh, so action is ergodic if uh, invariant subsets have measure zero or one. 
Um, yeah, the, uh, the, set, uh, the set of invariant random subgroups is uh, simplex, Shoke simplex, as well as a set of, uh, uh, of uh, characteristic random uh, uh, subgroups is subsimplex of that previous simplex. Uh, in any case, also uh, Shoke simplex, so ergodic uh, measures correspond to extreme points. So we are interested uh, in finding uh, extreme points, in uh, cardinality of the set of extreme points, and so on. And the general equations are uh, what groups have ergodic uh, continuous invariant random subgroups. Uh, in, uh, in the future, I will abbreviate this like E, C, I, R, S. <coughs> and given interesting group, how many such IRS it has. So as I told, uh, we have simplex of invariant random subgroup, simplex of characteristic random subgroup, and we are interested in uh, find, uh, understanding these simplexes, counting the set of extreme points, and so on. Two important cases are the so-called Paulson simplex, uh, simplex uh, when extreme points are dense in the simplex. Take closure of the set of extreme points, you get your simplex back. And such a simplex uh, by the result of Linden Strauss, Olson, and some name, sorry, I forgot, uh, shows that the such simplex is unique up to a fine isomorphism. And the example of such simplex uh, uh, can be produced very easy. You consider a uh, two sided uh, shift of, a, say, binary alphabet 0, 1, and consider the simplex of all invariant probability measures. And this is Paulson simplex. Uh, and another situation is Bauer simplex, when the set of extreme points is closed. And the uh, basic example is you take, say, a compact uh, metric space, consider simplex of probability measures, and it is Bauer simplex, uh, set of extreme points is just x itself. Um, now, how, how these two notions are related? Uh, if you, uh, let's go back to our dynamical system, a group acting on X mu, uh, space X mu, mu in probability invariant, and then we uh, have a map uh, which I denote phi uh, from X to space of subgroups, namely to each point of the space we associate a stabilizer of this point. So here a point, here a subgroup. Now, uh, total non-freeness uh, means that uh, phi is uh, almost sure injective. Different points uh, have different images. And uh, this leads uh, to the uh, invariant random subgroup. You take uh, measure nu, which is an uh, image of mu, and uh, this map phi. Nu is phi star mu. So now, uh, uh, Starting from Gx mu, you get G acting on space of subgroup uh, by preserving measure, uh, probability measure nu. Nu is image of uh, mu. And uh, if mu was ergodic, nu will be ergodic. If nu, mu was uh, continuous without atoms, uh, nu will be. Uh, yeah, so it means, it means that uh, totally non-free actions on Lebesgue space produce uh, invariant, uh, ergodic conti uh, invariant random subgroups. Ergodic actions produce ergodic, and so on. So this is a link between uh, totally non-free actions and the invariant random subgroups. Uh, yeah, totally non-free action produce IRS. Now some uh, results about IRS. Very short account of results. Uh, that, uh, so at the end, I am going to, to list a, a certain result obtained by my collaborators and me in the last uh, four, uh, three, four years. But uh, just a short excursus in the history. Um, so first of all, uh, there are groups without any continuous ergodic IRS. And as I told, I will abbreviate this ergodic A continuous IRS. Uh, lattices in simple higher rank Lie groups, Tuck Zimmer 1994, 
Higman Thompson groups. So uh, Thompson, uh, he uh, produced the first example, and Higman then generalized that were the first examples of uh, finitely, finitely presented, given by finite set of generators and finite set of relators. Infinite uh, simple groups, uh, very famous in group theory, very uh, studied. Uh, there is uh, opinion that they are not so big, nobody is able to prove this. In any case, these groups are very poor with, res uh, with respect to continuous ergodic IRS. They don't have this result due to, uh, to other, uh, Artem Dutkov was mentioned, and another uh, young mathematician from Kharkov, uh, Konstantin Medinets. Now, uh, there are groups with uh, Uncountably, uh, when I say uncountably, I mean cardinality of continuum. Two to the power aleph no, uh, aleph zero, groups with the uncountably many continuous uh, ergodic IRS. For instance, non abelian free groups of uh, FR are uh, number of generators from two till uh, infinity, but countable infinity. And this result is five years old, the result of uh, Lewis Bowen. So the name of Bowen was pronounced. Uh, uh, many times during this conference, but it was uh, Rufus Bowen, uh, who had short uh, but very bright mathematical life in the 70s. Uh, this is uh, recent Bowen, uh, Lewis Bowen, my recent colleague, but now in uh, Austin, in Texas. Uh, so he, uh, he used, using very sophisticated ideas, he, uh, five years ago, so he proved that non abelian free, free groups have many many invariant uh, continuous ergodic invariant measures. Uh, now, uh, such group as a group of finitary uh, permutation of infinite countable set, set of natural numbers, for instance. This is uh, due to Vershek. And uh, some other, so this group is locally finite. Every finitely generated subgroup is finite, so it's a union of finite subgroups. Sub, such group are called locally finite groups, and uh, uh, there are results, again, due to Dutko and Medinets, for instance, that some special inductive limits of a finite group uh, also have this property. Okay, now, uh, now some uh, recent results of speaker and collaborators. Uh, it's not a result, just observation, uh, because uh, nilpotent groups have only countably many subgroups, so the, uh, we may not consider them. They are not interesting, not very interesting. But solvable groups usually have many ergodic continuous IRS. And uh, as a first example uh, that we considered carefully is the so-called Lemplite group, which play an important role in group theory, in theory of random vox, um, in uh, theory of L2 cohomology, and so on, L2 beta numbers. So this is just a risk product of a group of order two an infinite cyclic gr group. Uh, what is that? You take a direct sum of infinitely many copies of group of order two indexed by integers, and uh, in a group of integers acts on this direct sum by shift. And this action is action by automorphism, so you can consider uh, corresponding semi-direct product of Z with this abelian group, infinite to group of uh, 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 elementary to group of infinite rank, and this is called Lemplite group. In fact, it's two generated, uh, can be generated by only two elements. It's a metabelian, two-step solvable, extension of abelian by abelian, has exponential growth, is not finitely presented. Uh, it's quite non-trivial group, uh, quite interesting group, has uncountably many subgroups. Uh, we computed a uh, uh, perfect kernel uh, and uh, this Bendixson rank, but uh, let me focus on the, uh, just uh, on this statement. It's due to Lewis Bowen, Rostislav Krauchenko, and me, that uh, the simplex of invariant random uh, subgroups uh, on the Laplite group contain uh, po Paulson subsimplex. So inside there is uh, this, uh, subsimplex, which is a Paulson simplex. So it shows that uh, uh, already a metabelian group may have many, many invariant random subgroups, and in fact it has uncountably many ergodic, ergodic uh, continuous invariant random subgroups. 
So in fact, our statement is more precise, but just to save time, I formulated it in this uh, more simple form. <coughs> Any questions so far, by the way? I know that I speak too fast. Pavel Nikitin tells us that everything is clear. Uh, now, uh, Rem you know that a uh, free group is a universal object in cat uh, uh, category of groups. Uh, it means that every group can be is homomorphic image of a free group. In particular, two group, group generated by two elements is homomorphic image of a free group uh, with two generators. And now the following uh, observation, that if you have surjection from a group G onto H, so phi is epimorphism, uh, then uh, you get two maps. Uh, from subgroups of G to subgroups of H, just uh, you take uh, image of subgroup, uh, and this is Borel map, and uh, uh, in opposite direction, subgroup of H to subgroup of G, but uh, containing a kernel of phi. You take just pre-image, pre-image, and uh, surprisingly, this uh, like opposite map is even continuous map. So. Uh, consequence of this is that if a factor group has many invariant random subgroups, then you can lift them to G. Then group G itself will be. So now, uh, uh, result of uh, Lewis Bowen that free group on two generators has many IRS uh, just follows from the analogous result for the Laplace group. Now, Laplace group has many, so in particular F2. But uh, uh, Lewis Bowen was using percolation uh, to show his result and so on. Uh, okay. Now, uh, kind of uh, more. Uh, uh, another result due to Bowen crouching in me uh, states the following. Every non-abelian free group, FR, or group with R generators, uh, number of generators uh, two or larger, of infinite or countably infinite rank has uncountably many continuous uh, weakly mixing uh, characteristic random subgroups. So this is much more stronger than before. So first of all, instead uh, invariant random subgroup, here we cl uh, make claim about characteristic random subgroup. And remember I discussed that uh, there are much less uh, characteristic random subgroups than just invariant random subgroup. Secondly, instead of ergodicity, uh, we, uh, uh, we claim that the action by in uh, automorphism, action of uh, free group uh, uh, by ah, yeah, uh, so uh, here we mean action uh, by automorphism uh, group of uh, free group. But we claim that uh, mixing already hold if you restrict uh, action of a uh, uh, full group of automorphism on uh, the subgroup of inner automorphism. Uh, we already have weak, weakly mixing property, which is much stronger than ergodicity. So uh, previous results, uh, we, uh, that free group has many continuous ergodic uh, uh, invariant random subgroup is uh, made stronger in two directions. And, uh, score, uh, and using the fact that uh, <clears throat> subgroup of characteristic uh, group is again characteristic in contrast with normal subgroup. Normal subgroup of normal subgroup is not necessarily normal. So it's called subnormal. So, but uh, subgroup of uh, characteristic subgroup of sub characteristic is characteristic. And uh, now we, uh, we can conclude from this result that if a group G has normal subgroup, and this normal subgroup is isomorphic to free group, non-commutative free group, then G itself has uncountably many continuous weakly mixing IRS. And this corollary is applicable to the, in the following situation, for instance. In the situation of non-elementary Gromo hyperbolic groups, in the situation of the mapping class group of a, a possibly a, a, a punctured by finitely many points oriented surface of negative Euler characteristic, and the outer automorphism group of a free group, very important group, <coughs> studied by many mathematicians. So here we... Uh, use results of Thomas Desant, Damanier-Geraldel, 
Денис Осин, Хупрут, это группы, листит группы, схевы, нормал, сабрупс. Вича, азиморфик, то нон-коммутити в фри группс. Эманк, то прус, зет фьюрем, ви ю сам резалт в Адян. In few days I will give a talk in Moscow at a conference dedicated to 85th best day of Adyan, who has a few great results in group theory. One of them is related to so-called bounded Bersight problem, and another he managed to construct infinite family of identities, which such independent family, none of identities like identity. I mean group identities like identity of commutativity, commutator x y equals one, or identity of nilpotence, like chain of commutators is identically equal to one. So he built infinite family of independent identities, and as one of corollaries of this is that free group, non-commutative free group has uncountably many characteristic subgroups. It was known, not known before. And another, we uh, take a abelian group, just elementary p group of infinite uh, rank, zp is a group of order p, uh, p prime, uh, and uh, uh, on abelian groups, invariant random subgroups uh, is just a, a space of all probability measures on the space of subgroups, because action by conjugation is trivial action. But uh, one can study characteristic random subgroups on abelian groups. And uh, this is quite non-trivial uh, thing. And even for this uh, particular case, uh, it's not trivial. Uh, in fact, we, we proved uh, some more general result. But in this particular situation, the set of extreme points of the simplex of characteristic random subgroup is countable set. So uh, simplex itself is power simplex. Uh, uh, it's a sequence of measures mu m, where mu m is a probability measure, uh, in certain sense uniformly distributed on all subgroups of g of index p to the power n. So, yeah, uh, p to the power m, sorry, not n, but n. Uh, now, result uh, by... Uh, I already mentioned that the uh, nilpotent group is not interesting. Now, if you uh, consider a group from the point of view of growth, uh, groups of polynomial growths are virtually nilpotent by famous uh, theorem of Gromov. So this is not interesting case in our situation. Uh, now, a group uh, of exponential growth, like free group, Lamplighter group, they may have un uncountably many invariant random subgroups. Uh, this was already mentioned. And uh, what about groups of intermediate growth? And uh, with Bendry and Nagnebida, we showed that there is group of intermediate between polynomial and exponential growth with uh, uncountably many uh, ergodic continuous invariant random subgroups. And perhaps this is the last statement, uh, my time is going to the end, uh, that uh, uh, there is class of branch groups uh, that was mentioned at the beginning. Uh, next few slides we will f uh, tell few words what is that, but uh, uh, right now uh, assume you know what is branch group, uh, the statement uh, tells that each branch group has at least countably many uh, ergodic uh, continuous invariant uh, random subgroups. And uh, the first um, example of a branch group is, again, group, uh, sorry, there was uh, some notation, a group generated by four involution, group acting uh, by automorphism of binary rooted trees. This was the first uh, example of group of intermediate growth constructed by me. And uh, then later, I understood, uh, studying the properties of this group, I understood that it has branch structure, so introduced this class of branch group. So uh, this statement, this theorem, is applicable to this group, which is uh, studied by many people. Uh, so we know that uh, at least countably many uh, uh, ergodic continuous IRS exists on this group, but we don't know if, the, uh, set, uh, if it, it is uncountable or countable. And this is one of uh, open problems. Uh, just, uh, I will finish in two minutes. Dr. Agrachev, is it okay? Oh. Yeah, just a uh, few words about branch groups. So, uh, people study actions of groups on trees, in particular on rooted trees. Here is a binary rooted tree. Uh, root is a fixed point. 
and the group X by automorphisms of the tree. There is boundary of this uh, tree. The tree is infinite. The boundary consists of infinite geodesic uh, rays, and it can be identified with the space of binary one-sided infinite uh, sequences. And uh, group X also on the boundary uh, in natural way. Mm, and uh, uniform Bernoulli measure is invariant uh, for such action. So we have this triple group X on the boundary which is a counter set uh, by measure, Bernoulli measure preserving transformation. And the fact is, uh, now group is branch if it, acts, if it has faithful action on spherically homogeneous root E3 with the properties that action is uh, level transitive, transitive on each level. And uh, uh, structure of uh, subnormal subgroup in certain sense imitates structure of the tree. And uh, it was observed in already in 2000 by Bartoldi and me, and uh, the branch group acts on the boundary completely non-free. So just different points have different stabilizers. So in particular, totally non-free uh, with respect to uniform Bernoulli measure. And recently with Dutko, we understood that action is also absolutely non-free. Definition was told, say, uh, given at the beginning. Uh, and to prove this uh, theorem, uh, uh, to prove the results that uh, branch group have at least countably many, we consider action, diagonal action of a uh, group on the uh, nth power of boundary of the tree, but uh, factorized by the action of symmetric group by permutation. Uh, we show that for each n, uh, such action is totally non-free has only countably many ergodic components, and restriction on different connected components leads to different totally non-free actions, and therefore to different invariant random subgroups. Thank you for your attention.